Hello everyone, welcome back to another blind reaction to another character concept for Sherry Arbor's story. Now, if you've read the title, you know that this character's name, name is Lila Corcoran. Now why is that significant? Well, let me just give you a little, uh, a little bit of trivia, right? Sherry's original name was going to be Sherry Steva Corcoran or something like that. Or maybe it was Corcoran Steva. And I decided, you know what? I already like Sherry Arbor. Because for some reason, in this, like, literally in the first volume, I called her two different names. So I just took those two second names and gave them to other people. But obviously I gave Corcoran to Lila. So, what I've got here today is lovely stuff. I'm just going to show here, the firstly, the line art for Lila. And then we'll see the actual colored concept, which is done. I just need to see if the colors are alright, so, yeah. Here it is. Here's Lila's line art. Now, on the screen, I could just show you the actual full image, which would probably be better than just me showing this. But yeah, honestly, I liked how it really turned out. Right, so now, it is time for me to scroll down to the actual colored concept. So I'm going to full screen it, and I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to cover the screen with my hand, so I can actually uh, see this with thing, right? Wait, are we ready? Three, two, one... But this is Lila. Honestly, uh, different how I imagined her, but honestly, the way I described her, it basically fits perfectly. And I'm really glad, like, with the detail. I'm actually really happy with what I see, honestly. I've nothing else to say about this, so... Give me a second, I'm going to save this now, or, like, actually confirm the order with this artist, and then we'll take a better, like, look at the images. So, uh, this is a thing I forgot to show, but there was, um, a piece where they forgot to put the cloak in. A lot of the artists I've worked with, like, uh, I say a lot, but the last two I've worked with, they kind of panic when they think, oh, is he's, he's going to think less of me for, like, not including all the bits. But honestly, I think it's cool getting to see, like, alternative stuff to what I asked for. Because, like, in the last one, uh, Claire had more, like, brown hair than blonde hair. I did say dirty blonde, so that's probably why it's more, like, darker. Um, but then here, now we have with Lila, uh, we actually don't have her cloak. And, you know, I could literally just do uh, this, just to show you the difference. And you can even see, like, uh, like just to be a bit, like, artsy-fartsy about it. But you can see, like, some lines we got rid of here. These were made bigger. Which I think, like, overall, like, these little changes that happened actually make the, like, line art a bit better than it used to be. So, again, yeah, I, I just thought I'd show that real quick before showing this. Of course, like, a lot, like, bigger and without the watermark. And obviously the final piece, which is this one. Which is so weird to see. Now, obviously, this would beg the question, like, Joe, okay, wait, you're sh you are you telling us there's going to be, like, witches and superheroes in this world? No, no, no. Just calm down, alright? This is purely just a Halloween costume. And the main reason I, like, wanted to do a Halloween costume, because I thought, you know what, let's spruce it up a bit, because, like, two of the characters look normal, but then we have Lila here, and she straight up just has, like, a witch costume on. And, like, basically I was writing a part of the story that had her wearing a witch costume. So I thought, you know what, let's just ask for this for a concept. It's like, um, Claire's concept is actually also, it was subconsciously based on something I wrote in the story as well. So, yeah, uh, another little fact about that too. So, whenever I get to doing the next concept, it's probably going to be a similar thing. I, I guess maybe next time we'll go for a Christmas theme instead. I don't know, but we'll have to say. Um, yeah, I wanted to actually zoom in a bit. I love the style they done on the eyes, honestly. Like, I, I was like, oh, is that, like, different colors in the eyes? And, like, look at that. That's so cool. And she has the choker as well. Like, overall, really good detail. Nice shading. Like, I have no complaints, honestly. Like, what trips me up, though, is every time I see her feet, I think that these are her legs. I'm like, wait, why isn't that foot aligned with that leg? But it's like, oh, yeah, no, it's a, like, a... You know what I mean? It's like a kind of dress. So, yeah. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching this reveal of Lila Corcoran. Hopefully I'll make some videos on this soon, but I also want to say, unfortunately, that this will probably be the last concept piece I do for a while. Uh, Claire's one was actually meant to be the last one, but, like, obviously, this artist reached back out to me, and, you know, they wanted to provide me with uh, a concept. And, yeah, I accepted it, and th that's where we ended up, you know? We ended up just getting this done. So yeah, obviously, if you want to stay up to date with Sherry Aubrey's story, make sure to, obviously, like the video if you liked it, Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. 
hopefully, I'd say maybe after July is when you'll get more proper Sherry Arbor uh, concept stuff. It depends as well, because I'm almost done rewriting the story as of this video. So yeah, I'll definitely talk more anyway if I do do an update video sooner or later. Thanks again for watching, and goodbye.